This video is sponsored by Avail. With the driver demand at an all-time high, now is the time for drivers to come together and fight for fair conditions, more control, better rates and more freedom. This can be done through the Avail app. Avail wants to get rid of agencies so that drivers can get better wages, have control of where they work and choose their own work pattern. Want to know more? Download the Avail app today. Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Luke, thank you very much for watching, do appreciate it. How are you doing? We're in London. Uh, well, yeah, well, we are technically in London. We're inside the M25. We are not too far from Wimbledon. So it is London, but it's not like central, central London. But it is London. <laughs> uh, right, we've got a load of storage boxes on them. Uh, eight boxes to be precise. We have got to go and get them delivered. Uh, it's a tip and reload. So they take eight off. Uh, presumably they're going back to the customer and then eight are going back on, which are then gonna go back uh, up towards Stroud, where they are stored in a um, airport hangar, or, well, it is a hangar, it's not really an airport, it's more like an airfield, but, as to uh, by Dubai. What's this car doing? Go on then, off you go. Um, so yeah, we're, we're about three miles away, uh, but I thought I'd start the video now, as we're approaching into London, just in case anything happens, because you never know, Londoners are a bit weird. I just want to say thank you for um, all the positive, kind words I received on my last video about my dad. Um, he's still in hospital uh, at the time of recording. At the time of editing, I'm hoping he is out. I'll probably put an overlay. Um, but yesterday he had uh, an internal defibrillator fitted. Um, today is Wednesday, so we had that done Tuesday. Uh, so they said 24 to 48 hours he could be out. So. Um, yeah, I'm hoping, hoping Friday he's back out. Um, so when I come to edit the video on the weekend, he should, fingers crossed, be out. That's the plan. So yeah, just want to say thank you to all the kind words. Uh, so many of you left uh, left some nice words. So thank you for that. I do appreciate it. Um, hopefully he's out soon. Now, we are um, currently planned for a night out tonight. We've got to do this delivery, tip this, reload, go up to Aston, tip. And then we're going to pop back to the yard and get reloaded with timber out of the sawmill and then we've got to take that up to Wrexham um, 
I don't think it will get delivered today. We'll, we will try to get it delivered today, but it doesn't matter regardless. We're on a night out. Um, we're just going to head on up to Wrexham tonight. Uh, I know a few places to park in Wrexham, so it should be okay for that. So, um, yeah, 100% plan for a night out. Tomorrow, not exactly sure what we are doing after Wrexham. Um, it could be reloading aluminium tubes from Hydro, bring it back down to Cheltenham, or it could be reloading Wrexham and come back down to Mitchell Dean. That's something else we do often as well. We'll have to wait and see before we know. Uh, well, we'll have to wait and see before we find out, sorry. And then we will know what exactly we are doing. Uh, but for the moment... All we know is that we're doing this. <laughs> and then come back, get loaded for Exxon. That's all we know. You may have seen I am wearing one of my custom hoodies. Come on in, mate. Come on in. Wearing one of my custom design hoodies that I created myself. Uh, we've had bigger down there drive. Good popular seller. We've, I've sold more of these than any other hoodies. Um, <laughs> however, I must say, when it says um, we've had bigger down there drive, I'm not saying we've had bigger down there their driveway i'm saying we've had bigger down there drive you are the drive you are the driver <laughs> so i have had some people say that the word in there is spelt incorrectly because it says t-h-e-r-e -E. um but it is spelt correctly it is t-h-e-r-e -E, because i'm not saying i'm parking down their drive as in that person's drive i'm saying i'm you know we've had bigger down there as in over there you are drive. Does that make sense? <laughs> anyway, there is a slightly re version now available on my page. Uh, basically, I've added a comma just to try and clarify a little bit more for the pedantic people who want to speak proper English. I'm a truck driver. Look, I, I, I went to school, but I didn't do great at school, okay? That's why I'm a truck driver. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, my, my, my best seller. Um, so if you are interested, there is a link down in the description below. Go and check it out. It's £29, uh, available in uh, up to double XL in most colours. Um, a triple XL, I believe, in black. But um, yeah, go and, go and have a look. But there, there's loads of colours, loads of colours. Now, we are in a uh, twin lane which merges in, so we will need to manoeuvre on over into the left-hand side. This van definitely doesn't want to let me in doesn't want to let me in but I'm gonna get in anyway <laughs> it's emerging let me in <laughs> now in terms of time we are running a little bit behind schedule I, I did want to get here for eight o'clock um, I woke up a little bit late this morning and also I've been stuck in a bit of traffic so current ETA is 20 to 9 a bit 40 minutes late so um, I don't, it's not going to matter too much, I don't think, on my day. Um, like I said, I'm on night out regardless. But I, I do think they, they like to have it by 8 o'clock, so we are going to be a little bit late. We do need to get into lane 2 because we are manoeuvring and turning right in a half a mile. So we will want the right-hand side lane. Do you remember when we had that fuel crisis? Oh my God, I've done a lot of work uh, where we're going now during that time and this petrol station got rammed and everyone was queuing up from this side of the road and the other side of the road just to get into the fuel station nobody could go any better, well, anywhere because I wanted to go straight on couldn't go straight on because everyone was queuing I <laughs> eventually got to about here and I was blocking the roundabout I had to put <laughs> I had to block the roundabout because if I didn't go, someone else would go. Do you know what I mean? From, from the other side or from that side. And I wouldn't be able to go anywhere. So I had to just edge forward bit by bit. And then a cyclist come over, a woman on a bike, said, oh, you're blocking the roundabout. I said, I know. doesn't matter where I'm going to be. I'm going to be blocking someone. Do you know what I mean? It's just stupid, stupid drivers just trying to get fuel. But they were, they were coming from the wrong direction. Had, had they been forced to come up here, spin round and come back down, and queue up for fuel on one side of the road, at least then traffic could flow, but they don't think about that, do they? They don't think about that. Anyway, we're nearly there. <laughs> oh, sorry, it's just a bit of a rant. Every time I pass that fuel station, just reminds me of that day. It was just awful. The whole fuel shortage thing was ridiculous. For drivers like us who just need to get out and about and drive and drive for a living and deliver products to stores, then you just have people panic buying for no reason whatsoever. No reason. Some of them probably needed it, don't get me wrong, but not everyone. That was just stupid. Right, we are about a mile and a half away. We're not, we're not too far. Not too far. 
What's this lorry doing in front? There's nothing on the other side of the road and he's going quite slow. Is there a vehicle? There must be a vehicle in front of him. Obviously you can't see because it's a big vehicle. I can just see him go slow but there's nothing coming the other way. See, this car's going slow as well. What's he doing? What are you doing, mate? Are you actually just stopping there? What are you doing? This car's behind you, you numpty. <laughs> so, like, some people just can't drive. They just... Oh, honestly, it's beggar's belief. No one could get past him where he stopped. There's a school here, so that's what all the traffic's about. So, it turns out we're running a little bit later than I thought. Uh, because I, I had the ETA set to my pinpoint because I specifically wanted to come down this road. It's just the easiest way in. So, we're not going to be there for 20 to 9. We're going to be there for 10 to 9. <laughs> um, an extra 10 minutes. So, we're a little bit later than, than I thought. Never mind. It shouldn't take too long to get tipped. I mean, anyway, normally I've got here at 7 o'clock in the morning before in the past, and they don't touch it until gone 8 o'clock because they're all, all their vans are in the way. It's quite a... It's quite a strict place as well with parking. There's a, there's a security bloke. It doesn't like you parking on, on the double yellows, which is fair enough, but like, where do you want me to park, mate? I've got to park somewhere. I'm delivering, collecting. I can't get in straight away. I've got to wait for some vehicles to be moved. I've got to park up somewhere temporarily. Do you know what I mean? It's not like it's on a busy road like this. It's out of the way. <laughs> Right, come on then. Let's be having you. That's it. Turn green. Keep on flowing. Keep on flowing and keep on going. That's what we want to do. Do, 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 do. No vehicles parked on the left today. Normally you get vehicles parked on the left here. That's it, you walk in front of the road mate, that's fine. Right, can we get out? I think we can. We can take advantage of that gap there. And then we need to merge on over to the right in a sec. Du, du, du. Say thank you to him. Right, we are literally half a mile away. It's just London traffic. It's a bit of a nightmare. Right, we are nearly here. <laughs> Been saying that a while, but we are nearly here. We just need to turn right at these lights. <coughs> so we are in Wimbledon. Wimbledon itself isn't too far away from us. Yeah, baby, green light. Come on, Let's please stay green. Let me, <laughs> let me get through. Thank you. Please, please, please. It's not a green light for you, mate. That car just went for a red light. Green light for right turns only, that was. Lovely. Right, we just want to take a left here. Caution. Vehicle turning left. 24-hour security. Is it clear? Is it clear? Is it clear? No, there's a van there. There's a van right where I want to park. Well, they're going to have to move the van. So that's where we need to go, right in front, but we park where the van is on the right-hand side. What I'm going to do is just nose on in in the gap that is there, and then I'll have to move over in a second to, uh, to where the van is. But when I get in, they'll, uh, they'll move it. At least then I'm not parking on the double yellows because the bloke gets a bit funny. All right, let's go see someone and get this van moved. Wait. 
got to go out slowly when you're reversing because it's, uh, well, I can't see. <laughs> Left or right. Put me hazards on. Okay, trailer is well and truly in the road now, so we can speed up. We're just going to go back far enough so that if any lorries do come round, they've got plenty of room to swing and get round me. But we're literally here for about 20 seconds, I suspect, just until he moves that. Oh, also, not wearing a seatbelt. <laughs> Someone in my last video said I wasn't wearing a seatbelt. Just want to remind you that if you're on uh, public property, then yeah, you have to wear a seatbelt. If you're on private property, pro property then you don't. This could be classified as private property because there's a security gate on the way in, which means you're only in, allowed in if you're authorised, therefore private. Also, you're allowed to not wear a seatbelt if you're doing some sort of manoeuvre, including reversing, which is what I just did. And you don't need to put a seatbelt on if you are driving less than 50 metres. And I realise I looked down like I was looking at something, I was just looking at a sat-nav. Yeah, if you drive less than 50 metres, you don't have to wear a seatbelt either. I reckon the distance between here and there is less than 50 metres. So no seatbelt required. Just wanted to throw that out there. Right, he's moving back now. Lovely jubbly. Ah, oh, security bloke's coming up now to tell me to move. You watch. He's coming over, he's gonna ask me to move. They hate it, they hate it here. We're just parking there, mate. He's just moving it. You knew I was coming to you. Oh yeah, I knew you were coming, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we'd like to take it easy with you. That's, that's fine, mate. I, I drove in there and he said he's going to reverse it out now, so I'm going straight in. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I, I understand, mate. But if it's happening in the future, talk to us. If it takes long, you're more than welcome. See the barrier? Yeah. Just, just before the barrier. Just, just stop there and no worries. No worries, bud. No worries. Have a good day. <laughs> He's um he's the one that comes over. He's 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 fine. He's a good bloke. But like what am I what am I supposed to do? I did everything. I, I went straight in there, out the way, and I was told to come back. He was going to move it out. I've been here for a minute. <laughs> right. We're in, we're in, we're in, we're in, we're in. Lovely jubbly, right, let's get these curtains open, get these boxes off, get some new ones on, and then we can crack on back to Aston Down. So I just found out that where we're delivering to, they're actually moving to number six, which is next door to where they are now. It was so much bigger, so much more space. I'm actually looking forward to, to delivering to that one, because. Yeah, looks like there's loads more room. So, we'll have all that space to play with. Whereas at the moment, I'll show you the space we've got to play with. This. <laughs> that's the space we've got to play with. So, that's where one of the boxes coming off. That's literally all they are. It's just, just eight of these. So, I think three's come off now. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, so three have come off. Five more to go. They come off. The other ones get put straight back on. It's so quick, so easy. It's lovely. But this is <laughs> this is the only space we have to play with. So we've got their vans apart there, and then I'm there, and then that's that. It's all the space we've got to play with. Whereas next door, loads of room. I imagine they park all the vans over there. We'll have a lot more room here for the trucks. Anyway, I'm gonna get the rest of these taken off, get some more put on, close the curtains up, and then we're gonna crack on and get back on the road. Right, we are now heading out. We do have a bin lorry right next to me. Even though my reversing lights were on. The car decided to come on down. Do we have room to spin around down there today? I think we might. There's a couple of options on what to do with regards to spinning around. 
and it's a bit tight. I might go back. I was going to do a spinny in this little bit here, but I will go back. Lovely. Right, we're out of here. We are loaded. This security bloke, he's such a nice bloke. He really doesn't let you park it, mind. <laughs> but he is. My uh, truck just stored. Alternator malfunction. Body controller malfunction. Oh my God, we are in a really bad place. What's going on? Hi, mate. I think the truck's alternator malfunction, transmission malfunction, uh, hang on, body controller malfunction, it's not even starting. Light system malfunction, it just literally just stored on me whilst driving. Exhaust system right. malfunction, there's other ones. Me, bod air me, suspension um, malfunction. It's pointless me being a minute, but let me send you. All right. All right, mate. Cheers. All right, bye. -bye. I've broken down. So what are we gonna do? I well, I can't move, it won't start. So how are these people gonna pass? It's gonna be a big problem. No idea. I'm gonna I'm trying to make some phone calls. Um, as I come over as I come round, it just stored yeah, yeah, yeah. and now it's not starting at all. Yeah. I'm just gonna suffer only with this unit 20. Yeah, that's why I'm letting you know. Lorries might find it difficult getting in and out as well. It literally died as I was there. What's that? The, the, the it's diesel. Diesel. All, all the lights are on the inside of the dash. And no, but what, what's the problem? The engine or...? No idea. It just died. <laughs> Won't even start. <laughs> Hi, Aaron. It's Luca Harry and Sons. Hello, mate. All right? Yeah, uh, not really. <laughs> uh, just broken down. Uh, I've got all, every single alarm going off, alternator malfunction, tra transition malfunction, air supply malfunction, body controller malfunction. It literally, I was coming out of a site in drive and it just, the engine just died. It just went straight away. Engine ECU. Ah, uh, right. Is there a quick fix? On. Nope. <laughs> and they, they're on a 15 week back order. Nice. Okay, we have an issue. Everything that, everything that you're explaining is typical examples of when the engine ECU fails on them. They're, they're, they are horrendous. They happen fairly often, to be fair. Yeah, I've got everything. En uh, alternator, transmission, body controller, light system. So you reckon you reckon a call out? Uh, well, you won't, it'll be recovery, mate. There's no yeah. point calling out. <laughs> All right, mate, no worries.
Where, where, where are you? London. <laughs> I'm in Wimbledon. Yeah, it'll, they'll, they'll be up. You may find, if you turn it off, it might start again in about half an hour's time. Yeah. And then down the road, it'll happen again. And you're on it. Okay, all right. I'll let down there. All right, what? I'll wait for his call. Yeah, all right, mate. No worries. All right, cheers. Bye, bye. bye. There. I'm on the estate, but I'm on. I was just coming out, and it just died. Right on the on that bend. On the bend, yeah, right yeah, barrier. right next to security, yeah. But I'm blocking the um the the um place on the left, the entrance. Right. Okay. All right. Yeah, let me ring Phil a minute, then, because he's probably got somebody in within London that he uses. So. All right, mate. No worries. All right. See you in a sec. Cheers. All right, bye bye. Sorry, mate. It's dead. We're, got, we're trying to get recovery out. Yeah, these people, they use this site a lot. Yeah. It's busy. They have like delivery, like a white light. They are busy with events and stuff like that. I can't move. I know. Right, so we are trying to get things sorted. So as I come here, the truck broke down. I managed to roll it to there at least people can get in and out of the main entrance the problem we've got is well lorries can't get in there now so it's going to be a bit of an issue i've uh, made a phone call hopefully recovery is coming out i think it's going to get recovered back to the yard which is a, a bit annoying i was looking forward to doing that out tonight to be honest i mean cars cars can get in vans can get in it's just going to be other lorries I can't get in. But at least I've not broke down there because it went here and I rolled. Oh. This company is coming out. His name is Gary. He's coming up. Very, yeah, he's going down. Lovely. Um, very nice man. Very nice man. So uh, we have to inform him. Just, just yeah, just a to each other. procedure, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Communication. Yeah, that's it. That's it. No worries. You know, I I'm telling you, uh, you left <laughs> access for that way, so which is yeah, more no. or less. Good. It literally went yeah. as I was passing the van. I yeah. was like, oh God, no, what's going on? Mm. It's, it's, can't do anything. It's a machine. It's a machine. It's, it's an engine. Hello. Hi, this is... I know, I'm so sorry. <laughs> as you see here, if you go in the back gallery, for the small cars, if they want to go in or go out, it's fine. I'll, I'll just let the guys the know. Van, Worst case, fine, we can, yeah. we'll have to unload the other yeah, side, yeah. I suppose. Sorry, really sorry. Yeah. Good gentleman. Yeah, no, it's fine. It can't be out, can it? No, well, I actually it broke down by the van over there, so yeah, yeah. I managed to roll it as far as I could. There was yeah. a van parked here, so I couldn't yeah, go any further. Yeah, 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 yeah. But um, yeah, I do apologise, mate. No, it's not your fault. Mate. Got a recovery, hopefully coming on the way soon. That's going to be confirmed shortly. Yeah. But my boss is aware, so okay. he's just making some calls. Yeah, it's no problem. Can't be up. I'll update you by text. Whatever yeah, is happening. No worries, Thank you, Gary. Cheers. <sighs> Oh, right, so we've broken down. <laughs> That's good, guys. So nice. He's really friendly. The other one seemed a bit, a bit stressed. Oh, what are we going to do, Luke? Right, um, I'm waiting for a phone call now to confirm whether or not recovery is actually on, on his way out. Um, yeah, so that's all we can do. I can't really keep trying to start the engine because I'm going to lose air pressure if I do that. And if I lose air pressure, that's just going to be a load more hassle. So, yeah. Fun, 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 fun. So, recovery's here. <laughs> I think you're a bit too small, mate. I don't think, I don't think I'm going to fit on you. Recovery has arrived. Matey boy there has unloaded us and now we're hitching back up to this one to take us the rest of the journey. Not really sure why, but that's what's happening. Uh, it did just start as well, it just turned it over and it just started, so slightly promising perhaps.
Okay, right. So the the first truck has dropped us off. We're now hooked up to this one. Curb King recovery. First one was R and S. They recovered me last time. Uh, so yeah, we're hooked up, ready to go. He's just got to go sign the paperwork in the services because uh, he's been here for more than two hours. So he's going to go ahead and do that now, sign that, and then we can get on our way. What time is it now? It's half past three. Yeah, time's getting on. So yes. Uh, we things obviously things have changed now so we're not actually going to be doing a night out tonight uh nor are we delivering today so when we get back to the yard we've got to do uh, a truck change i'm going to jump into g14 which is actually the first truck i drove for harry and sons um the euro 5 so i'll be moving my stuff into that when we get back and then tomorrow probably do it in a different video actually i i don't know we'll see um, tomorrow, um, then deliver this, and then we've got to go get loaded from Tetbury, and uh, then carry on with the rest of the week. <laughs> so it's been an interesting one, that's for sure, today. So I'll just show you briefly around the truck. So it's all hooked up, all the lines are hooked up, which is then going down here and into the back of the trailer. So the trailer has air, it has lights, as you can see, the yellow, orange lights are on. We're good to go, but apparently that is, well, it's a Foden. Apparently it was made in 1999. So it's an old one, nice old machine. Looks smart, I'll give it that. Oh, we're in the Foden. It's not the quietest of trucks. She's an old one. Beautiful truck. Beautiful. Okay, so we've dropped the trailer. Trailer's been dropped there. I'm gonna hitch back up to it in a moment with G14. In the meantime, this one is being put away. G14 is just over there, the other white one. So he's gonna part that one up and then I'm gonna move G14 over towards him, move all my stuff out into the new truck, well, the old truck, and then bring the old truck back around here, hitch up to the trailer, spin it around, ready for the morning, and then we'll crack on. We broke down about 10 o'clock this morning. It's currently five o'clock in the evening. So it's been a, a long seven hours just waiting for recovery and being recovered, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Right, let's go and uh, move this other truck so we can go and move all our stuff out. Right, so we're still in the process of swapping everything around. Just doing some checks on the, uh, the new truck. Got a few bulbs out, so just sorting them out. We've got a side light bulb out there. So it should look the same as that one, so we've got to do that. And then also we've got a headlight bulb out. Unfortunately, on the Euro 5s, it means we've got to jack the cab up to get to it. Because it's situated just down here. But I'm going to go grab my torch from the other truck and then we'll, uh, we'll do that. It's sort of on, but not on. It should be like that. So, and it's flickering, sometimes it's off. So we've tilted the cab. Uh, let's go get my torch kit. Right, we now have a light there. Lovely jubbly. Right, that's that done. Let's do the back. Well, actually, we've got to lower the cab now. There we go. We're going down. We're going down. Done. Right now we've got to go do the back one. Right, so uh, this is the broken bowl here. This one, so should be a case of taking that out, replacing it with another one. This should light up as soon as I put it in. There we go. Right, that's that done. Let's put the lens cover back on. Okay, that's that done. At least now all the lights are working. Cab is now put back down. And, uh, oh, I need to lock the container still. 
and then put all my stuff in the truck so a lot to do still but still rather do it now at six o'clock at night well it's 20 to six rather do it 20 to six in the evening than 20 to six in the morning you know what i mean so let's get a move on hopefully we'll be done in like 10 minutes okay and that's just done we are fully done uh truck is hitched up to the trailer we're on g14 both headlights are done uh, containers locked up, everything is done. It's now six o'clock at night. We are good to go home. So, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. I am going to end this video here. Uh, so yeah, cheers for watching everyone. Do appreciate it. Until next time, drive safe, stay safe. I'll see you soon. Don't forget to check out my hoodies. Uh, link is in the description down below. Uh, yeah, until next time. Bye bye.